Well, I know it's been around a month or so. It's been a very long time since uh, since the last video. Uh, I'm going to explain quite a few things before we jump into it. Uh, this is Caves of Cud, by the way. When I was scouring YouTube, I saw Suzeth made a video about another game I like. What a coincidence. He's very cultured, and I love that man to death because boy, oh boy, he gives me some views. Uh, as a as a rat, I do I do like my views. <laughs> Gonna start somewhere, right? Uh, but uh, I recommend watching his video for an explanation of the game because again, he's very fucking funny and he's an incredibly amazing content creator. Uh, I'm just surprised that he even reviewed this game because it's a, another very niche title that not many people even care about. And I guarantee there's going to be a pretty big flux of people wanting to watch gameplay of Caves of Cud. Uh, and I, as someone who also has a couple of hundred hours in Caves of Cud, I would like to also play the game for people to pl uh, to watch. Because that's what I like doing. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Caves of Cud, uh, let me give a brief description. It's a roguelike game instead of like uh, uh it's like a cat it's like a, a much less complicated cataclysm dark days ahead but a lot more fun there's a lot more unbalanced ways to break the game uh don't even expect us to even finish the game because there's no story the story isn't done yet but not even even if there was a story right now uh, don't expect it to even work. <laughs> I, I have yet to be able to finish the story because a map generation error would happen or a crazy game would corrupt my save file. So there will be lots of, not save scumming per se, but there will be a lot of times where the video will cut because I'll be loading into a map error. And if you try to leave, the game crashes. You just can't leave. So I, I'll be forced to close the game, obviously. But other than that, Caves of Cut is a very... I, I love this game. It's a very fun game. Uh, I got some mods on it. I wanted to try some mods for this game. There was, a, I, there was one I used to play with called... Uh, I think I can, I can show you. Yeah, these are all the mods I'm using. Better Ability Bar basically shows you what your cooldowns are. These are all just quality, quality of life. Better Time kind of makes it look ugly. I actually might not have this. Uh, I was testing around. I do like it. It's a really nice mod. The guy who made this is incredibly... It's, it's it's an awesome guy. It's a really good it's a good mod, but you need to have the sidebar, which you'll see why I don't like it. I like the top bar because it's uh, less. I, I get to see the more of the screen. Uh, and we're totally gonna be breaking this game. We're we're, we're absolutely. I don't care. Uh, this game I play for just how far can I break the game? Because it's actually pretty difficult to go super far. Uh, I don't I don't do the lava the lava trick or anything like that because that takes too much time. I just I like playing the game and exploring and breaking it as to go on. But uh, so we have a couple of mods. This one adds a bunch of awesome shit to the game. Uh, I, I I haven't even it used to add really really OP stuff. It kind it's been really fleshed out now. It's been really balanced. I used to not use it, but uh, I stopped using it for a while when I was playing. But it's a really good mod, I recommend using it if you played the game enough that you got tired of the base game. It adds some pretty OP batteries. Uh, you, you realize like uh, there's cells for like electronic equipment. I mean, later in the game anyways, you find antimatter cells like nothing, which are end game cells. But it's just the idea you can get powerful cells early on. This thing uh, is broken. Uh, I, I, I really hope if the mod ever, the mod creator ever sees this, that he makes them either a hundred times more valuable than what they are, or, uh, stupid rare. Because I love this mod, it makes it so that when you're a mutant character, because there's two, there's two types of characters. There's true kin, which make it so that you can have cybernetics. And cybernetics are equally in are equally unbelievably broken and they're awesome and you could do a bunch of other stuff with uh, Trukin like basically precognition and be able to st an integrated save scumming mechanic uh, with Trukin right up the gate uh, I love Trukin, Trukin is v only if you're really gonna like make a character that's meant to break the game 
Uh, I don't like Truken playing them personally because I like mutants. I like the randomness of a mutant. But I want the the fun of the Truken. So I got this mod specifically to have that. <laughs> I get to there's the, the tonic what it does it basically overrides your character for a little bit uh, you don't lose anything uh, into a true kit you will even lose your mutation points for a little bit but they'll come back after, as soon as the tonic wears off and you can install cybernetics and do the the sphinx injector which is an injector that if you're true kin can make you basically if you die or if you don't like what you have you can go back to where you took it you lose your Sphinx Injector, but at a small price. That's, uh, I mean, for min-maxing, that's amazing. There's a reason why. We'll, we'll talk about that more if you haven't seen this video. This one, uh, the one under here, just adds just a, qu uh, just a housing thing. It's cool. I wanted to build a house in this game. All right. I, I, I haven't even started it yet because it's... I, have, I haven't even found the fucking thing, which is kind of cool. I like that. makes it rare. Uh, this thing... Oh, it doesn't even show the description. Just makes legendary uh, workshops, you know, actually useful. I mean, they're super rare. I've only found a couple of them. When they first were released, though, they were everywhere. Because they were testing it, obviously. But now they're super rare, which is I'm okay with. Uh, you can find, like, gun merchants, gem crafters, you know, eco merchants that sell unbelievably rare versions of what you would find. But with this mod, it makes it so that finding these guys is kind of worth it, even though you'll find better stuff late in the game. Uh, they'll get mo extra modifiers, and then you can modify the- I, no, 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 you can't. They'll just get more modifiers than what you would see normally. So, like, you have a gun with three modifiers, which is rare. You, um, the most you ever find is two. I've only found two items ever with three modifiers on it, I, I, on an item I wanted. Keep that in mind on an item you want. I found maybe a, like less than a ha both of my hands can count, though, of triple modified items. This mod is just for quality of life, super quality of life. Uh, just makes it so that it's easier to see your stats. You can change your character's icon, shit like that. But enough about that. Uh, I just wanted to explain actually what's going on. I was sick. Uh, I did not have COVID. Because I got sick from my coworker at work. He was tested. He turned out negative. So I didn't have to take the test. Uh, I, but I, I, I had some sort of lung problem. I was sick for... I was coughing for literally a month. So I'm very sorry for the, for not keeping everyone up to date. But we're just going to actually play the game. Uh, I kind of want to know if I'm recording. But I have no idea. So I am recording. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to cut that in the video at 8 minutes in. I have to remember that. But, uh, so yeah, no, this game is awesome. I love this game. Uh, so we're, we're gonna disable better time, because I don't really need it too much. Uh, I already have a character completely designed. Uh, it's, it's, I, I usually play Espers. I love Espers. They're unbelievably OP. They're very fun. You can cast magic, basically. But we're gonna make a melee character. I, w I was doing some test runs to see what I would like. Uh, to see what I was comfortable with, with absolutely tanking, because I'm used to having high ego and not having lots of toughness or strength. So this is our character, who is absolutely fucking stupid. <laughs> you never do this. Uh, actually, for a melee character, do this. This is awesome. But he has every single perk. I actually, I actually might change a couple of things. But uh, Tonic Allergy isn't as bad as what you think. What, what it does is that you have a 33% chance of taking an, every Tonic, mind you, that uh, a negative effect occurs. But only 33% chance, which isn't that bad unless it's you're in a situation that it really, really needs to work. Uh, obviously, uh, as someone who likes to roam the Deathlands, which is uh, a very dangerous place, don't expect my character to live. Uh, this is the first episode of just an int an introducing you to Caves of Cud. It's a very fun game. Don't worry, that Star Sector thing is still on the back burner. I'm still planning on playing that. I just, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm not burnt out. I just don't feel like playing it. It's just, you know, everyone has that. Just to don't feel like playing it, you know, move on. Do something else that you want to do. But, 
As our character, uh, you could totally take my character. The code is right there. I'm not. I'm not afraid. It's in the middle. I don't think you see my mouse, but it's right there. You can absolutely yoink it. Uh, intelligence uh, is. I should have. I should have explained the stats. No, I actually. No, we're just gonna create the character. God, professional. Am I right? Uh, so yeah, true can higher starting attributes, fewer points to allocate, access to cybernetics, increase HP gain. Basically, you become tougher in the late game. Uh, uh, true Kane are very good late game characters because you can easy to break. But mutate, I like mutants because they're way more fun and there's a lot more randomness to them rather than just having a a very linear path. That's why we got the equity tonic mod. I actually might try to learn how to mod files and make it myself unbelievably rare and unbelievably expensive because it's just too powerful. And I'm also setting it for myself so I can only install one cybernetic per equity tonic, which that might not seem like a, a balance, but it's better than just fucking just going all in, you know? <laughs> so ego, Ego is your ego score. Well, actually, it's right here. Your ego score basically just makes it so that items are worth less, like for buying, so they're cheaper, and you sell things for more. Not that's not the reason why you want ego. Yeah, you you you, you get so much money anyways if you uh, farm certain mobs in the game if you learn how they how the mechanics work for them. Uh, and basically how fast the power of your mental mutations, like Esper skills, physical mutations are not affected by this. So if you're building a physical character, you don't give a rat's ass how low your ego is. You can give a not at all. So you want to build your guys toughest possible. Uh, so that's basically it. Willpower is good. It's a good one, but not as important as toughness for survivability, obviously. So willpower basically affects your allocated abilities, like their, their timers to make them cool down less, and your ability to resist mental attacks. That seems like a big deal, but earlier on, there's very little enemies you have to worry about that use uh, will-based attacks. There's only a couple of them that are quote-unquote common in early game, but they're very weak and easy to point out. They're, you just kill them right away. Intelligence! Super simple. Depends on how many skill points you get, aka to allocate towards your abilities and like skills, like axes, you can dismember people and shit like that. You won't be able to do that right out the gate. And your ability to examine artifacts. We don't care about that as as fucking grug, alright? The man bangs fucking flint and stones together. So we don't give a shit about that. It's nice to have it, but we don't care about it. Toughness determines your number of hit points right away, your natural heal rate and your ability to resist poison and disease. The reason why we want this character's toughness to be so fucking high is because A, he wants to survive because he's punching things to death, and B, he will be in a lot of scenarios where creatures will bite him and, and give him illnesses or ailments of some sort. Agility makes it so that you, you dodge attacks and you have a better chance to hit things. Uh, very simple. Strength de depends and uh, strength is very important for a melee character, but not as much as toughness in my opinion, unless you're building like a berserker. Uh, your strength score just makes it so that you, you how often you can penetrate enemies' armor. And oh, it's, yeah, yeah. So your strength score determines how effectively you penetrate your opponent's armor with melee attacks, how much damage your melee attacks do, and your ability to resist forced movement, and your carrying capacity. So force movement, as in someone will uh, someone will push you back, like they'll hit you with a, a powerful enough attack with a blunt weapon as a cudgel, mace, great hammer, stuff like that, to knock your character in a direction. That will then make a roll so that you will not have this happen. Basically, it's like D&D. There's a lot of rolls involved, but... Uh, and also... Certain items, uh, you might be thinking, oh, why don't you just max out your strength to do as much damage as possible? Yes and no. Uh, there's, items have a cap. Like, if you find a copper, a, a bronze battle axe, your maximum strength modifier is at three or two. I think it's two. So, I, I'll get more into it when we get into the game, because I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. It's There's a lot of numbers. But... Everything is based off dice rolls, and 
your strength just adds more dice rather than those dice numbers getting higher. So in the end, you're not really doing more damage. You're just getting more rolls to do more damage. Obviously, you're just doing more damage, but you're, you're just getting a higher chance of doing more damage. If that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. But basically, yeah, your strength just makes you do more damage, but at a certain limit for the item you're using. Obviously, there's items that have an unbelievably high cap, and you can just go to fucking town. So, we got our, we got our base character. Gonna modify our character sprite, make him look like Grug. Bam. It's beautiful. This is our unbelievably, uh, obviously get willpower. That's just the another ability. A tanked ego, tanked intelligence. I want to be able to identify some fucking items. Duh. So I tanked it a little less as much as, uh, intelligence. Uh, just so I can look at something and not break it instantly. Uh, salve injectors, medical supplies, stuff like that. Have to have a chance. So that's our character and let's start. And we're gonna start in the new player, uh, the new area, because it's, very, it's a very, very simple way to start the game for people to learn. I love. I actually just like starting out in Joppa. Uh, I'm one of those weirdos who like starting out in the beginning area. Don't know why. I actually also another really fun one would be the desert canyons. Oh, village. Oh. Oh. I might actually do this. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, but... Fuck it. <laughs> and we're gonna uh, just call him Rat. Boom. Nice, simple, based off our channel. Very easy to please. <laughs> I'm gonna call this episode one, by the way. Uh, just, uh, just to make things more simple. I actually never started in this village, funny enough. So, you probably hate that. Uh, the reason why I actually have to turn that off and on is because uh, the mod only works with the old based uh, UI. But as you see, there's a lot more visual information on the screen rather than having a third of it taken up by a fucking bar, which I hate so much. Uh, also, uh, there's normally your number pad, your number pad zero. You don't you don't use a mouse for this game. Only if you set it like that. But I, I obviously turn it on because it is a nice thing to have. But you don't need it. Uh, but there's auto exploration, which is a very useful key. I which is naturally, I believe. I, I think I changed it to number pad zero when you start out. But, uh, oh, I hope I can... Oh, is there anybody in here? Can I steal shit? I can't, okay. I want to talk to you, motherfucker. Come here. Ah, this is the problem with not having quickness. What the hell? Oh. Oh, so yeah, we're looking for the yellow guy, I believe. Yes, he's right up here. What the hell are you doing? Uh, okay, this is not bad, actually. We got some good stuff. Let me see what our skills are. Oh, hell yeah, this is like Ultra Min Max. I didn't even realize that, because we got Fasting Way, I believe. Yeah, because we start out with uh, Harvestry. Where the hell is it? I, my brain can't even... Oh, I didn't get Fasting Way. What? It's probably because of the mod fucking it up. Yeah, you know, we'll... If that's the case, I might just start a new game for just just for just for a safe sake. God, I should have done this before. Fuck. Oop. Ah, oh, now I gotta. <laughs> boy, oh boy, things have not changed. At least I'm very glad. 
Uh, it's overlay. So we're gonna disable that. New game. Most recent. Modify. Grug smash. Start Joppa. And then rat. Oh. Bigger rat. She'll call them big rat, whatever. Alright, now we go back. But yeah, honestly though, I'm really I'm actually really glad to have uh explained about this game. Cause I'm this game deserves it. It's it's an awesome fucking game. I love it so much. Uh as we're robbing these innocent people because uh I like starting in with everything possible. It's all random. This is none of this is uh every every single time is different. And I'm hoping to find artifacts to do a quest right up the get. <laughs> the hell? Are you serious? Okay, uh, th this item, I've never gotten one of these from the chests. Uh, no, no mod is affecting the loot from Joppa. Uh, this is, I guess, a, an unbelievably rare chance. This is a Schrodinger's page. What this does is that you can make any faction in the game like you a bit more. So we're going to do that. Oh, no, no, no. This is, yeah, this is only for insects. Uh, the shorteners page I'm thinking about is you insert whatever you want. That was just for insects, which is totally fine. That's, that's a lot more common to find the uh, specific ones but it's still an unbelievably rare find mind you don't ever expect to find a shortener's page at the start of a game that's insane so i'm just gonna comfortable in my chair we have a grenade oh we have everything uh we need torches because i'm an idiot and i didn't take night vision but that's fine because we don't really care yeah no that's good uh, see, this is what I mean about artifacts. We have we we have no idea what this artifact is, because we have yet to get it. We have no idea what it does. We have no idea what it's capable of, and there's a chance we break it. Uh, for meta game's sake, we know that this is some sort of injector, an, an item to heal you, give you a buff, or some sort of ability, because it weighs nothing. That's that's just if you understand things about this game. Uh, if it weighs one pound, it's probably a grenade. Uh, and also based on the icon on the complete left side of the screen, which is new. I'm not used to that. Uh, used to not have icons. <laughs> By the way, used to just look at shit and not know what it was no matter what. Which I liked, but it made no sense. Uh, but now we have two artifacts to right out the gates give to this character, which will give us a very easy quest. That will... Uh, just make it so you, you get your first level. Boom. We got one level right out the gate. Uh, very easy, very nice. What I like to do for this character right at the gate is to get uh, multiple arms as high as possible because we're going for an axe build. Uh, because long swords, I got tired of using them. Cudgels are fun, but not as fun as axes. And I want to chop people's heads off. And I it's actually been a very long time since I've actually did a multiple arms build. And it's because this is that's video and he reminded me of this build. You can give your character a shit ton of arms and just cut everybody's arms and legs off. And it's been a very long time since I've actually did a multiple arms character. Because, fun fact, I've only done it twice. <laughs> and I want to do it again, for especially for a playthrough. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there's a, a, If you're going for meta, long swords would be the best. If you want an easier start and an easier way to play the game, because it's game breaking what long swords can do. I will not explain why. I do not want to give too many spoilers. We will discover this as time goes on. I'm only giving you a brief description of the game, uh, explaining some locations, which you will see no matter what. As you notice, the giant fucking purple on the right, those are the Deathlands. I can't hide that no matter how hard I try. <laughs> I wanted to, but I can't. Uh, and it's good right now just to get as many weapons on our character as possible, just to benefit from his multiple arm perk. 
So we're going to get multiple arms to level 2, and we're going to get two hearted to level 2, because third level, this will go up by one perk point, and we will allocate the next perk point we get from our next level into toughness, and get to, to level 3, and get another dice roll. Or is it level 4? Whatever, we're getting, a, we're getting a perk point soon anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the next character that I would like to talk to is this character, because he gives us another quest. Specifically to find a Gerslane at uh, at this place, at, uh, the next spot over the red place. But we're actually going to do some exploring and some minor mob killing, just to get some uh, just to get some extra levels. It's nice, easy, very harmless levels. Because you can still die at the beginning. It's this game is it's random. Everything is random. You might find monsters that tear you in half right at the gate. I've I've been lucky enough to find a mimic on the first floor. If you don't know what a mimic is, uh. It's a monster that's an unbelievably high level. I, I think, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's 25. That uh, just kills you. It's just a monster you can't fight at level 1 or 2. It's impossible, no matter how hard you try. You, you could run. If you can run. But uh, it's it's still uh, too dangerous to fight at such a low level. Unless, you, unless, you're, at, unless you're an Esper, then you could totally fight it. Actually, you could fight a lot of things at level 1 as an Esper. A lot of things. <laughs> if you know what you're doing. But uh, this is not a, a this is not a fair game. This it's the reason. Yeah, see, we got a, we got an attribute point. Got I, I played a little too much. <laughs> I love this game to death. And then once we get to level four, we get our ability to advance this mutation, and then get to level fucking thirty toughness. Uh, we're gonna get the regen up to level two. And we're going to get double muscle to level 2. Don't don't worry about this perk too much. This perk is only a, a very last resort perk. I decided to take this because I, a, I never taken it. I've gotten it on other runs. But what it does, it just it just summons an EMP out in front of you. Like all around you by 5 blocks. It's very good in certain situations that will happen. Uh, especially for earlier on. It's very good at keeping us alive specifically. And I'm not afraid to admit that I've died making characters right out the gate. This game is, uh, it's, it's hard. Well, not that it's hard, it's just, you, you gotta know a lot of things before you can fucking try to do crazy shit. Because you're just gonna die a lot, it's fine. I mean, that's how everybody learns in this fucking game. <laughs> also, they added a new mechanic. Uh, if you go in water, you actually lose a lot of... Uh, it's actually a lot easier to get killed in water now. It used to not affect you, but now it does. Which is new to me. So we're at Red Rock right now. And there's baboons this time. Which actually will kill me if I'm not careful. Just gonna go around. Look for the entrance and get the fuck out. Oh my god! Yeah, that's, I think that's a merchant. Hell yes! Well, me talking up my ass, huh? Let's see what he has. That's an alligator, that's good XP. Oh! Wow! That's a hell of a find. So yeah, this is a legendary chef, kind of the worst one to get, but I don't mind. There might be some monsters down here, but uh, nothing nothing for me to be really worried about. I don't like it how Auto Explorer automatically makes you read every book that's... Uh... Is it you? No? There you are. Let's see what you got. Oh, let's look at that. Yeah, as you notice, everything's unbelievably expensive, which is which makes sense. Yeah, not nothing too good, nothing nothing worth our time. Uh, I mean, we got some good stuff from the place, so I'm not mad about that. But still, it's not worth our time. Actually, I might take some stuff. Get some. Get some little bit of a bonus. Nah, nah, nah we don't we don't need to. We can always come by later to see if what he gets next time. But that's really surprising. Oh, one second. Sorry about that, I had the fucking sniffle. Oof. 
Yeah, it, 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 th that sickness lasted forever, and I, I felt really bad. I wanted to say something about it, but I also still wanted to record. But when every time I was recording, it was like coughing every five seconds. It was horrible. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to fucking do anything about that. So now I'm I'm back. I'm fully back, and I'm able to actually record and do stuff. We actually might get another level here. It's actually really good to level up as quickly as possible in the early game because th that's the only reason why you're alive is based off your HP. So we get our toughness up. Bingo. 30 toughness. And we are going to go, I believe, next will be double muscled. Because I think at level 6 or level 5, every 5 levels you get one attribute point to all your skills. Or is it level 6? God. I can't remember all this shit off the top of my head. But what, the item that we're looking for right now is a shield. Uh, because with the shields, we will actually have a lot more survivability right at the gate. Especially that we have multiple arms. Uh, th the reason why the mod I'm talking about is OP is because you can find chips for chipsets. For perks. So you can get like Esper abilities even as a... Uh, True kin, vice like vice versa, but it's not as fun. Oh, yeah. The reason why it's always good to check those out is because you can find unique. There's unique items in this game. Uh, they can they they vary very very wildly. You you never know what you're gonna get. I've gotten items that were unbelievably insanely OP, and items that I threw in the trash. In five seconds some items give abilities uh, and you can gimmick them a little bit depending on the item so like if it's a dagger let's say and it gives you uh, some sort of ability then you can just hold it as a thrown item you'll get the stats off of it because it's technically you can throw daggers and, and stuff like that which is awesome that's that's totally a part of the game and I do not care oh we got a shield nice And that's the whole point, is to be as creative as possible, and to do everything you want as creatively as possible. There's no shame in breaking this game, because it will break you. I, I've lost so many games to Corrupted Files, that every single time I end an episode, I will literally back up to save. That's how that's how often this game has corrupted for me. And it's not it's not even the game's fault, it's just that it's an early, it's an early access game, and the map generation likes to break. It's very rare, but when it does happen, it's 100%. There's nothing you can do about it. It's either you save scum or you lose your game. <laughs> that's, that's it. And it sucks, but oh well. It's not that big of a deal. I just gotta loop back the, the file if it ever happens. Oh fuck, that's a bear. Ooh, come on, we can fight it. Yes, sir. Oh, a bronze great axe. That's actually really good. I will use that. And then we will replace the bronze mace with our iron reaper. Vine reaper, specifically. Yeah, I already were doing way more damage. Uh, uh, the reason why I'm replacing the, the vine reaper is because the great axe is better. And our skills aren't high enough yet to use our offhands effectively. Which, which, is, which makes total sense because we just started. So I'm relying more so on the heavier damage of the Great Axe. Am I gonna die? Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Time to run! Two bears at this early on though? Kinda, it's, it's kinda rare, I'm, I won't lie. Don't stand on campfires, you can land on fire if you do that. Fun fact. I've died because of that. Oh, I forgot we also get this! Oh shit, okay, um... Get that, yeah. Multiple arms, boom. Problem solved. Double muscled, boom. We now have 23. Yeah, that's what happens. You're, since I'm a mutant, my genome, it, they added a bunch of new shit to mutations. Uh, I mean, I was just testing and I've happened, but I forgot about it. So, when your genome excites, you get plus three levels to whatever skill you, you have. Uh, this passes its natural level of 10. If you max it out at level 10, you can over-level it with Genome Excitement, which is a big deal 
especially for things that are percentile incre uh, increments, like double muscled, which is the higher that is, just the better chance you have at stunning enemies and multiple arms. Even like everything, like it's just it's just amazing because late later in the game, uh, levels are very treasured. You treasure every level, like it's your fucking baby. Because it becomes super hard to level early in, in, later on in the game, and you're fighting monsters to level up that you don't want to fight, like ever. <laughs> Uh, we might find a Slumberling in here, which is one of the- also another monster that ends games at lower levels. Uh, I've, those are pretty rare, thank god. But there's always a chance, and luckily enough, if we don't piss it off, we'll be perfectly fine because it's asleep. All of them are sleeping. Oh my god, this is rough! Alright. Hello. There actually might be a, a nest down here, judging by how many fucking centipedes. Oh my god, what hit me for that much? Ah! Don't be an enemy. Okay, we're friends. Awesome. Get my health back up. Ooh, I gotta kill this guy. He does a lot of damage. He's dead. He's also dead. Excellent. Whew. You actually might get. You might. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, an iron mace. We'll, we'll sell that. That's good money, especially for earlier on. Uh, it's not a lot of money, but it's it's good to because your water in this game is uh, your money in this game is water. I was about to say your water is money, which is also true. Uh, the food, the thing you drink to stay alive is your currency, which is a really cool idea, and I I want more fucking survival games to have that. I'm so tired of survival games having money as a currency. Make it like fucking food or something. You know, like Metro, like Metro, the Metro series, bullets. That's fucking awesome. And you can use the, the military ammo that's worth, that's your currency as better bullets. That's fucking awesome. We, I want more of that. So it makes it so that do I want a new gun or do I want to shoot this thing really, really hard and kill it really, really fast? That's cool. Instead of fucking all this weird shit. Oh, you, uh, we we still use currency. I don't know. That's just my tangent. I hate I hate survival games that don't fucking. Oh, that's uh, jaded. God, there's so many centipedes down here. It's it's actually pretty wild. <laughs> I don't see that many down here. Okay, we leveled up that to three. We're gonna get- we're actually gonna get regen up, because I want more healing. Because, oh my god, it's getting a little bit intense. Oh my god, there's so many centipedes down- That was a risk. I had to take it. Whew. Let's in the water for a little bit, clean off our gear. Oh my god, everything is just kicking my ass. We don't have anything on our feet? Good to know. Also, okay, now since we're in the game, I'm going to explain the uh, the whole dice rolling aspect. So, as you notice, the strength agility bonus cap for this item is 1. So, only your strength at, I think, this is what I believe, I'm not too, but that's just what I, this is what I know. As you notice, my strength is very high for this first starting character. We're still only doing a, a, a bit more damage than our iron axe. Even though this is a two-handed weapon, that's because, as you see, this has a higher strength bonus cap, and we get, uh, see the, if you look at the damage, you see the hearts, I don't know if you see my mouse, I hope you can do, this is how many, di uh, this is how much damage you do, you do 1d3, so you roll a 1d3 die, that does 1d3 damage, but, we get 6 of those die. Normally it would be four if I'm correct right out the gate because of our strength bonus cap we get extra dice on top of that number If that makes any sense god, I hope I'm right. That's what I remember. I swear that's what I remember So for our bronze great axe 
because it's a two-handed weapon and a, and a smaller bonus to the cap, we get five 2d2. So even though this weapon's doing less damage, like less, less greater damage, it has a stronger hit die. Like it has more dice to roll. Like instead of, it'll be 10 dice. So I'm doing more damage because of that. If that, if I hoped, I hope that's how it works. God, I'm going to feel like a fucking idiot if I'm wrong. But that's literally from, that's literally what I remember. And that's why, that's why armor value points are very powerful. Uh, because those armor points depends entirely on those dice rolls. So let's say I had a character, I, I fight a character with this axe that has uh, all this armor. If I had zero strength bonus, I would never hurt him. Ever, in fact. Unless I got a critical hit, which adds more armor penetration. I, I think it's you actually just hit them no matter what for a certain amount of damage. If with higher strength, the reason why strength is good is because that adds an uncapped limit to your armor penetration. I believe. I'm going to do more research into that because I, 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 I want to give actual facts. But from my experience, this is what I've noticed. And I, I actually have like 160, like 160 hours in this game. At, at least, uh, I think it's more than that now, because that's when I last played it. Uh, it's probably at 170, 180 now. That's what I've noticed, is that that's how the, the damaging works. That's why armor value points are so low in this game, because it's exponential each armor value you have. It also depends on the enemy strength modifier to penetrate your armor class. I, I actually never made a dodge character before, ever, so I don't know how dodging works, but that's how I, that's what I believe about armor class. Shields, on the other hand, are a whole different ball game. I, I'm still, I, I, all I know is that half the armor value, when you block, is added for a little bit. You block an attack entirely, and you get half of the armor value added on. That's from what I've seen. There's a lot. There's a lot of cool shit. I don't know. That's it's it's it gets, it's as simple as people say this game is. It's so complicated. There's so much depth and mechanics and ways to ab obviously abuse and exploit it. But it's so enjoyable. It's such a it, totally a simple game on top. It's it's like a it's as basic as it gets as like a as a dungeon crawler. But that's what makes it so graspable for new players is that it it's so well designed it's so well designed for newer players and people who are new to roguelike games which is amazing because because of that this game is anybody can get this game and learn how to play it which is a good thing i'm really glad about that oh that's actually a dangerous monster oh We actually might die here. Yeah, Slug Snout is one of the most dangerous beginning monsters in in the entire run. Um, not because of its. Oh, finally we. Oh my God. God, it does so much fucking damage. I hate them. Okay, we're actually gonna go up just for safety. Oh, we, we killed it. It was right under my ass. Yeah, monsters can attack you on on, on Y, on Z levels. Because that's that's a good game design. Uh, you can abuse that. They won't be able to do their abilities. I mean, you actually, actually, you can still do your abilities on Z levels. But it's just harder to do. And you can't use ranged attacks over Z levels. So if you have an enemy that's like that, it's way easier to kill them on the, the lower levels and upper levels. Oh, and we found the creature that is eating the water vine, which is a Gershling. Nothing special. 
they're they're scary, but they're they're not like the. I mean, in the story, they're they're terrifying, because well, they're. Uh, and whoo! Let's get it. Get some more XP. Maybe I can get enough. That's a young ivory. Uh, these are basically uh, early game traps and early game character killers. If you don't have regeneration. Uh, I've died so many fucking times playing an Esper. Because my dumbass has stepped on an ivory. I mean, you don't know. Oh my god, a lover's blossom. Oh my god, hell yeah. That's going to come in handy later on, don't you worry. Uh, we actually, there, there is, uh, for certain crafting recipes, you need, uh, a lover's blossom to craft, uh, certain things, like love tonics, which are kind of helpful, but I don't like using them. Uh, they haven't worked too well for me. I think they fixed it so you can't do it for, I think it also depends on your ego and stuff. There's a, there's a lot involved. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this motherfucker. Uh, oh. Yeah, he was blocking away because he was stuck. Alright, we get a... God, I hate those. Yeah, those are dread tubers. They just scare you. They don't do anything dangerous. Or, uh, in certain situations, they can be dangerous, but not when you're exploring. Oh, that was a bad auto-explorer. Okay. Get them in one by one. Abuse the shit of that. Anything up here? Oh, boom. Hell yes. Can we get two hearted up? No. We can get regen up though. We can get double muscled up. Very good. Uh, also, we're going to get shield. I forgot to get that. No, we already got shield. Okay. Uh, we're gonna get Staggering Block. That's a very good ability to have. Earlier on, the better. Uh, the next perk we're gonna get is Dismember. Obviously, it's a really nice perk. Or, I believe it is... Uh, dual Weaponry. Dual Wield. Yes, that will be the next perk we get. Because we can use most of our... All of our arms every single... Every, every so often. Also, this is where our loot's gonna be spawning uh, up here. You'll, all the all the items and stuff that we're gonna be walking past is up there, and, and stuff like that. Uh, kill more. I I really want to get more lovers blossoms. They're actually really rare to get. F uh, fun fact: I've only found a couple of them. It's one of the only items I like you you want to get, but they're so rare. For good reason. No, for, for good reason. Especially with the mods that we have. I actually like the, the choice that they picked. I mean, there's rarer items. But uh, for now, that's uh, a really nice snag. Also, our base of operations is going to be right by this merchant. Because I like living by it. It's cool. Nice and simple. And you never lose it. And people don't pick up your stuff in this game. Sorry about that. I hit the mic so I was scratching my nose. Uh, so yeah, we got the Gershling. Did we get anything cool to sell? No. We got some stuff, though. I guess we could sell these, too. We don't need these right now. We're gonna get so much shit in there later on. I might sell the wine! Wine's kind of good. I mean, I, I've never had any problems keeping it. It's good for making recipes. You can cook in this game. And cooking is... It's pretty important. Especially earlier on, which I'm not taking advantage of, but that's that's fine. Uh, we just talk to him. Give do uh. So what that what that what I just did there I should explain is a, a water ritual. I give him a it's because water is so rare in this game and so valuable that giving your water to somebody is like the greatest respect you can give to somebody. Only you can only do it for specific characters. Uh, but. The reason why I'm doing this is because he teaches you a recipe absolutely for free. And it's a very good recipe to have. Very simple and very powerful. We're also going to take some secrets off of him. Just to learn some stuff. That was actually kind of nice. 
Uh, I were farm. Actually, that that wasn't bad. You can also ask him to join join us, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't really care. We can also do it for this guy. Get some renown. Give him some little secret. Uh, actually, yeah, we were hated by these guys, so that was a good idea. I did that. They're unbelievably dangerous. Uh, so basically, uh, he's explaining that, um, explaining about how dangerous the Gershlings are. They basically eat everything. They destroy everything. They're basically a plague. Yeah, called the Geyer, spread through and out of Cud. They were a long stewing punishment for some trespasses committed in the soft sludge of primordial primordium before even Sultan's reigns. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand the story in this game. It's fun. It's fucking cool though. It's a really cool story because basically the Cave of Cud idea is that we're a species. We are basically the Eaters were a transcendent species. They were unbelievably powerful. They had technology that fucking blows everybody's mind, and we don't know what happened to them. They're gone. Uh, I st I don't even know because the story isn't finished. We don't know what happened to them, but they're gone. Everybody's gone. Uh, but from that. We know that the Eaters were a transcendent species and all of their shit's left over for us to... And we're basically like cavemen with laser guns, which is cool. And then, just going on, obviously you can pause the video about that. Bigger rat. <laughs> Your discovery's invaluable. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and the items that we just got here are always the same. I, I never had any difference. Uh, but Uber Nostrum, very good for a true kin character because you don't get regeneration. Uh, salve injectors are just very good uh, for anybody. But Uber Nostrum has the ability to regrow limbs because you can lose limbs in this game. This game is not shy of tearing you apart. Uh, and you can die instantly if you get your head cut off. You can just lose your head instantly. Yeah, that's, that's a way to die. No matter how powerful your character is, you just get his head lopped off and that's the game. And then we just talk to him, do a water ritual. Oh, we got we're working on an achievement. The rapture. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Snap draws. Give us a good. I don't care. Give us a good, like a secret. Damn it. So that's all we had to do for this area. And I think that's going to be the first episode. I hope I wasn't too fast, uh, just because there's so much information that has to be spoken about. I'm not good at explaining things. I'm a very hands-on person. I literally need to play the game to explain what's happening, uh, which will happen. But I hope you guys understand that. I'm very sorry for not uploading. Uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna pump out some episodes because I'm, I'm back at work and stuff. Uh, I have to get, I have to get my rhythm back. Yeah, I was off work for almost a month and stuff like that. But, again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.